civilizations have been working with stone for thousands of years, literally thousands of years. They put stones around the land. Stones all over the place. They use dolmens, stone circles, standing stones, a lot of which we're still trying to figure out, still trying to learn what the messages were. You know, a lot of the dowsers have gone to the sacred sites and they use their pendulums and their L rods and they determine that there's so many veins of water and so many different things happening at these specific locations where the stones are. I personally have always had a problem with that because especially when they built the old cathedrals, I find it hard to believe that the old dowsers, the old energy workers had a list of conditions that they needed to find in order to put these stones over them, in order to build these cathedrals over them. You know, we need to go and find a spot where 14 veins of water intersect and there's uh, blind springs, there's all kinds of different conditions that we need to meet and then we can put the standing stones in the cathedral there. I don't know, that doesn't resonate with me. I'm from the school and the train of thought that the old dowsers, the old energy workers put the stones there, put the cathedrals there, and then brought the energies. Mind, energy, alchemy. They visualized, they manifested. This is where my research has taken me, that train of thought. I believe the old stonemasons, the old medicine people of the villages, the communities, they brought the energies and they used stones and structures to ground them. And by doing ritual and ceremony moving forward, they enhanced those energies. I think we have a lot to learn from that. So here we are back at the stone circle that we made earlier. I've done nothing to it. It's just been sitting here. Watch my L rod. It's that fast. We just made that circle probably 20 minutes ago and the bands of energy are already coming off that. This is what I show in my dowsing course. The people that take the course, we make the circle in the beginning of the class and in the end, we show them the bands of energy coming off them and they just can't believe it. It's that simple. We have to think outside the box, get rid of our programming. We are the engineers of the new future what you think you can create it's very effective this is old technology thousands of years old the ancients knew of its power and how to work it we have to learn and carry it forward into the future i shared with you a little part of my life dowsing has been a very important part of my understanding from working with the sand castings, to building the devices. I use dowsing to give me clarity. I use dowsing to confirm the information I'm receiving. When I need to make a new incense, to work with the vibration, to receive better information, I use my pendulum. I go down charts. I find the right herbs to use and the proper ratios for the blends. Dowsing has helped in locations, telling me where to put the standing stones, telling me what kind of stones. Dowsing was instrumental in getting me out of that 
has to be done this way attitude. Has to be done the way everyone else does it. You know, I talk about it in my book, The Time Is Now, when I just took my pendulum and I asked, is there an energy that hasn't been discovered yet? Then I fell off my chair when the, I got a yes response over and over again. We are the engineers of the future. Get out of that box, get off your couch. Let's move ahead together.